let's address some packing myths. Ever realize you barely touch 80% of the clothes we pack? And here's the kicker, you're not gearing up for the wilderness survival show. Skip the heavy duty fire starters and the giant knives. And the last minute packing? No, no, you gotta try all your gear before you hit in the trail. Hey there, I'm Ricky and I've walked Camino trails in Spain, Portugal over 8 times and I've trekked through Japan and India too. I've picked up some tricks among the way. My first Camino and my backpack was whopping 15 kg which is 33 pounds and I ended up shipping 5 kilo back home after just 5 days. Now gearing up for another 2 months of the Camino de Santiago, my pack is down just to 2.8 kilos which is 6.20 pounds. And no, I'm not a minimalist, I still pack a full size toothbrush with me. So come on, I will show you the difference between what I used to pack and what I actually need now, not only for the Camino de Santiago, but for any travel I actually do. These are the things that I always have on me. Let's start with the pants. This is the underwear that I wear, this super fast drying material. And this is for a few different reasons, because you will have to dry and wash your clothes on the Camino de Santiago pretty much every day. So it's good to have a material that is not only nice and comfortable in touch, but also dries up quickly. From the underwear, we'll go to the socks, another crucial part of the equipment. And these are actually merino wool running socks. For the summer and spring season, I always take with me the running socks made out of merino wool. Whereas for the late autumn or the winter, I would choose the hiking merino socks. The difference is huge because the difference is in the grossor of the fabric itself. The good merino socks, they not only regulate the temperature inside of the foot, but also can prevent the bad smell. This is the must. And the third part of the equipment that I always have with me are the pants. And as you can see, this is the zip hiking pants that I can divide into. And depending on the situation, I can simply use that part or the other. Beautiful thing about this part, they're made for summer. So the, as you can see again, fast drying material, uh, easy to breathe, okay? I always buy them a bit bigger so, so they don't necessarily have to stick into my body like a model like What I also loved about those pants, they do not actually look like the hiking pants in general. Uh, so you can use them in many occasions, not only to walk in on the Camino, but also once you want to go to the town. This is not the belt that was in these pants, this is actually a yoga belt, but let me explain later and you will love it. Another of important parts of my Camino preparation is security. And this little part here is what I need, the bum bag. This is the bag that you always have on you. Camino in general is a safe place, but you always like to have something close to your body. So this one actually has two different compartments. I can use my passport inside. I can put my money inside on one side. And that's for security and also for easily accessible things like the pilgrim's credential that you will go from alberga to alberga taking the stamps. You always need to have it on you because sometimes you're going to go to the restaurant and then if you have it deep inside of your backpack, it's simply going to be uncomfortable to take the things out. Then we have the Camino journal and this is actually in preparation for the Camino, preparing for the Camino. Uh, one of these parts talks about simplicity and how to simply not overpack. But anyway, it takes you from different, different ideas of the Camino Santiago, I always have it on me, and the phone that I also use to make my pictures and the pen. What really allowed me to step into totally a different category of experience is the backpack. It, this is the new backpack that we got for this year. Spoiler alert, this is only 570 grams. Flower, 570 grams. 
bananas 570 grams water 570 grams I will need 40 liters ultralight backpack 570 grams for 40 liters backpack this is absolutely good idea before i had the different backpacks many different backpacks one of them was osprey i love the osprey but it was twice as heavy this is a 40 liter have a look it has a few features that i absolutely love as the being the ultralight it still has a frame and this is huge to actually transport the weight of the body to exact places like the hip it has a nice hip belt as always it has this ventilation and it doesn't really allow you to sweat too much into the backpack which doesn't really happen with uh, ultralight backpacks because they all are frameless another great part is the mesh itself okay this is the mesh that you can put your uh, still wet clothes you can put the things that you can easily access and two nice big pockets on the sides okay huge thing this is the roll-on backpack that means that you can adjust the size of the backpack rolling more or rolling less water resistant they say water resistant really comfortable we tried it already a few times and i really like this idea it doesn't have a lot of features many of the little buckles are actually really small just to cut the unnecessary weight but it has them all it has a sternum strap it has a load lifters it has a waist belt it's pretty much equipped and everything and this is and this actually allowed me to step into a different category of backpacking life changer the main idea is that i take one clothes for wear and one clothes for change and one extra layer let me explain this is the hiking top um, this is polyester or it's microfiber nice and thin okay this is beautiful actually because you can walk it view during the summer and it gives you the protection of the sun and also gives you um, protection of the cold and in the colder parts of the Galicia you know I'm ginger the life of the ginger is not the easy life because the sun and us are not really good fit so all of the t-shirts that I have are the long sleeve and a part of this there is also an extra option that I can stretch it on the top of my wrists which gives me total protection as always easy to dry easy to wash it doesn't it's not really heavy because it's microfiber and look how small is this also the another one different brand but the same idea i have it on me just a few seconds ago and the last one that i have is actually merino wool long sleeve and this merino wool is there for two different reasons the first reason is that sometimes i will need this extra layer of of warmth especially during the early spring or all uh, autumn and second of all it's also nice and comfortable as the pyjama another pair of uh, microfiber underwear easy to dry easy to take easy to roll and this is absolutely a must in everyone's place and another pair of socks these ones are the toe socks they're also good for the blisters i can strongly recommend you too but as you can see this one is a bit thicker okay this one is a thicker it's a hiking sock not the running sock which i would use more in the all the moments of the camino the trousers are something that changed my game forever this trousers is the patagonia trouser is a jogging pants made out of i think it's like a fiber i'm not really sure let me see this is out of the recycled polyester super thin kind of stretchy okay kind of stretchy really well quality so this was like a treat for me for my for my birthday but i use it for everything i can use it for the trail i can use it uh, for camino santiago every day i can use it to go out because it's nice and stylish and also i can use it as a pyjama pants rolls out really nice as well okay this is the foldable down jacket as you can see and this i would use in the days when it's a bit colder 
I wouldn't take anything like a fleece with me for the summer because that's a bit of a too much. But this one is really versatile because in Galician humidity you can use it quite easily. But also if it's actually really cold, it can also serve the purpose. A part of this versatile because it's foldable and it also we can use as a nice pillow if you're staying in the place uh, when there is no pillows provided. I love this one, so easy and so compact. Another big piece of equipment that changed my game forever, it's a dry bag. This is something that I've discovered from my German friend Andy and this is the 8 liter ultra slim dry bag. We're using to make as much uh, space possible in the bag. So we will just roll the things inside. That's all I have guys, that's all I have. Boom, okay. Roll them in and then once, once you have the more roll, you simply squeeze and they don't occupy as much space as you could imagine. And there is one item without which Camino de Santiago in its transformational aspect wouldn't be as possible. The journey within Camino de Santiago journal. Number one journal for the Camino de Santiago. After many years of walking, we observed something really interesting. There are many stages on the Camino de Santiago that sometimes require explanation or sometimes need to be enhanced like meseta like the first day like arriving to santiago like finishing and integrating the part of camino into your new you this has a daily devotions this one's for example the self-care explains you how to integrate this aspect into your day-to-day -day life and take care of yourself in many different levels on the side, you will find a way to write it down. You can use it before the Camino de Santiago in your pre preparation. And that means intention settings or working about your expectations as well during Camino with the subjects like effort, loneliness or trust. Many pilgrims love it and hopefully you're going to love it too. You can find it in any library all over the world. And you can even have it delivered to your home. Your best Camino friend. Toiletries. I cannot really say that I use lots of toiletries, uh, but this is the bare minimum that I take with me always on the Camino. Everything is inside of the plastic bag. And I would use actually the same for my passport and for your pilgrim's passport as well, just in case there is a heavy rain around. I would start with a toothbrush, little travel toothbrush with a small toothpaste. Definitely enough for a few days of Camino de Santiago. As always, a deodorant, some sunscreen ocean. I use the sunscreen in the small little tops so you can fill it up before I go instead of taking the big bag with me. Then you can spray it in any places that I actually need. Then we have a soap and this soap is a natural soap that you can not only wash your skin and wash your hair but also wash your clothes. So all in one. If you don't take a soap to wash your clothes remember you can take a little bit of a powder as well with you. Oh cool. And the nail clipper always with me. So comparing to Erica, that is probably absolutely nothing, but that's enough for me. Okay, and this is my box of accessories. It's a really important part of whatever we have. This is a microfiber tower, okay? This is something that I couldn't believe if I saw it the first time, as big as that, okay? It is down on super microfiber, nice and nice and feel nice and touch material which absorbs water quite well and you know what surprise surprise it's huge i don't know how they did it actually look at that that's how big is that so you can wrap yourself easily with that and dries up really really quickly and once we found it our idea of uh, traveling with the towel changed a lot another important solution is the lamp solution which is not only used only when we walk during the night but is also used 
when we actually in the albergues because sometimes you want to go to the bathroom and the older you are the more to the bathroom you go obviously being in the new place sometimes requires to switch on entire lights otherwise your life could be in danger so this has two different lights the interior light which doesn't blind anyone and it also has uh, exterior white so once in albergue we would use this and no one actually would get offended and all waking up and we go out and we start walking the Camino de Santiago we would use the white light another interesting thing is the electricity the wire for your phone or for any other equipment that you have and check which plug is in Europe and Spain what is actually interesting that this particular uh, travel adapter has two different inputs has the normal one for everything you do and an extra USB. So you can charge two devices at the same time. Coming back to sleeping, this is probably the most important part of Camino de Santiago. You need a rest and sometimes you want to sleep at 7, 8, 9, 10 and sometimes even if you sleep later someone comes and turns on the light because it doesn't have a lamp. So in this case we advise to take an eye ban. Nice, relaxing, makes your life absolutely easy. And together with the eye bands, the earplugs. And these earplugs actually are inside of this eye band. The problem is that lots of people who snore in the world, I don't know what's with the snorers, put down in the comments if you know any snorer and how do you cope with that as well. Anyways, sometimes, if we really need sleep, 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 we just book some private accommodation so we can relax easily without anyone, any symphony around. Another big thing is the sleeping solution. Once we're talking about the sleep, this is the sleeping liner. The sleeping liner, curiously, are the part of the sleeping bags, okay? They were invented to put them inside of the sleeping bags. But when there is a nice and hot summer, when there is a nice and hot spring, you wouldn't really take with you the sleeping bag because always on the Camino de Santiago you sleep inside. So with a nice liner would do the job. And this is actually in particular it's called extreme. That means that it gives you super extra amount of heat because of the fabric it uses. We like it because it's nice and stretchy. It's super relaxing in feel. It weights 375 grams, whereas our smallest uh, sleeping bag is around 600. Another piece of important equipment is the buff, 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 buff. It's actually called a scarf, okay? The buff is the company that's really, really big on those scarves. And this in particular is made of merino wool. That means that it helps you when it's hot to regulate the temperature and helps you when it's cold to give you this extra layer of warmth. What's actually interesting, you can use it in any idea that you want. You can use it as a wristband if you play the tennis, as your scarf, as your sock. Even if you don't have a lot of money and you want to rob the bank, you put it on and you sort it. And then we have something which not many people use. This is actually a belt, which is not a normal belt. It's a yoga belt we stretch a lot okay we stretch we take care of the body because walking on the camino is really demanding for the body so we take with us the equipment not only to massage but also to to take care like elastic bands or a, a belt to stretch and this allows me to get to the places that i i cannot really get allows me not only to stretch my upper parts but also the lower part of the body and the last but not least this is the rain solution we are poncho people guys we are poncho people for a few different reasons first of all the ponchos are not expensive okay they're really reasonable price and if you take the poncho which is one size bigger you have enough space to breathe or not to sweat other words this one is only 320 grams easily perfect solution to open to close whenever the rain is coming and then just to dry it easily i don't wear rain trousers because the equipment that i have is fast drying equipment and i find it that yes or yes some of the parts of the equipment are gonna get wet but yes or yes they're gonna get dry really fast Poncho, poncho people, poncho. Put down in the comment if you're a poncho person, you're a rain jacket person. 
put down, share the knowledge and make other people's Camino stress-free and unforgettable. Another important part of equipment are the flip-flops, the second shoes. We only take two pairs of shoes, one to walk and one for albergue or for going out. And these are the cheapest and the easiest to use flip-flops. The thing is, the more expensive flip-flops, the heavier are they. These ones are made of the little foam that would actually be a lifesaver. But this is the perfect solution to get to the shower, to go around the albergue, or even go for the nice stroll in the city. And one more piece of equipment is this hat. This is the hat which has the special cover that can protect you from the excessive sun, okay? I'm a ginger, I know what I'm talking about. We've been there, we've done it, and life of the ginger is not an easy life. You can attach it from that side. You can use it with or without. Okay. Ta-da! And that's the final time for the check. How heavy is the bag? This is the handscape we're gonna take with us on the Camino as well. And the results are pretty surprising. 2.8, which is 6.2 two pounds if you want to clarify other